take Rob here. <clears throat> yeah, I thought I'd um, do a very short description of what routing is, um, specifically what automated routing is, and then um, how to actually um, enhance KiCab with um, such a feature. So um, let's get started. So anyway, let's have a look at the schematic. And um, what you usually do is you start with drawing out what um, you pick what um, circuits you want to use, you know, what um, connectors you have in the system. You have some passive components like resistors and, and in this case LEDs. You have some switches you want to use. And, and um and then you you drag a line between these different components to um, designate a connection between to them. for example in this case the integrated circuit and then the um, resistor switch and then the um, on the other hand um, out to the um, out to the lead and then you just work on that until you're actually done. Uh, with all, all the different connections on, on, on this type of a um, representation. And um, of course this cannot be directly used <laughs> to um, create a, a um, final product. So what you need to do is you need to um, move this representation into a um, so initially into a circuit board layout and then into a um, fully connected circuit board. So let's have a look at the, what the circuit board looks like. So anyway, when it comes to boards, there's um, basically a... Oh, here's one example. So um, it's uh, usually multi-layer. So you have, um, you can have conductive traces on like yeah, one, two, four, six different layers and then you have a certain layout for the components and the connectors so in some cases it's user driven where you want to have certain components and in other cases you could actually look a um, design program fix that for you so anyway in my case this is going to be I have selected that it's going to be a two layer board so basically that's a conducting layer on the bottom and a conducting layer on the top and, um, and then when you pull it over from the schematics then basically um, the first thing you need to decide is to where you want to have components and uh, as I said the, some of the com uh, locations are user driven so for in my case I want to have um, like uh, certain LEDs and switches need to be in a specific physical um, location and then it's a little bit more free where I put the ICs and then I'd like to also be in control of where the connectors are going to end up on the board. So, so in my case this is a yeah more user constrained board so it's not so much that I could let a computer do in terms of actually layout design which is also can be automated. And um, as you see then it has just has lines between um, the different components from pins to pins basically and um, this is called the rat's nest so um, you know what you could do is you could start um, manually um, putting in traces here on two layers to um, get your signal from one location to the next and um, that's a <laughs> yeah okay insert rant <laughs> So anyway, KiCad, um, they've had a bit of a uh, spotty history with including and not including um, routing capabilities. Uh, I think it's actually a mandatory feature of a PCB design application software package that you can actually have some level of um, uh, trace routing support, automated trace routing support. And, um, uh, some people are proponents oh, you can do it all manually but then I would think that that's more restricted to small designs or on the other case you have the other extremes which it's um, 
so-called speciality circuits where you have high, very high signaling rates or very high power and you need to actually uh, do dedicated design on specific features that are usually not supported in any kind of an automated routing um, algorithms. Or the designers are very experienced. Um, but um, and, uh, and also the issue is that then you have to have basically you, you don't have a cost for your time or, or time is unlimited. And I actually think that in many cases this is not the case for anybody who wants to design circuit boards but um, yeah so anyway it's a it's a pity KiCad actually doesn't got um, automatic routing support built into it but in this case they don't and of course there is a way to work around this problem so yeah anyway so moving on from the rant section <laughs> so anyway this is what you start with and um, then I'll just walk you, um, yeah, through the process of um, actually getting uh, some automated routing support. So anyway, before we get started, we need to install the required software, and I put the links to the download sites um, in the comments. So the first thing we start with is the Java runtime. So you just go and get it and install that. And then we need to get a package called free routing. And um, after you've installed that, I suggest you create a shortcut on the desktop to the um, free routing.jar file, also described in the comments. So after you've installed free routing, it um, basically has two independent components. Uh, one is a layout editor, so you can actually do a control. Uh, layout um, design and then it has um, schematic editor which is the actual tracing tool so I'll be focusing on the um, usage of the schematic editor so we're going to do a round trip from CARCAD using the example circuit that I have um, just to uh, show how it works so let's get started so anyway you start by exporting um, information from KiCad which is needed by the routing software and that you have a menu file export spectra DSN and since I've already done it I won't do it again but this will create a file that's um, needed by the routing software so anyway when you start the free routing.jar file then you get this displayed and basically it wants you to um, select the exported file that's the DSM file so after you've um, imported the um, uh, DSM file then um, you'll get your um, circuit board here with the, it should be the same component layout and the um, rat's nest and then um, there, are, uh, quite, there are some options you could choose to optimize things and to also to control the display but um, basically the only thing you need to really do is to hit the start and that's the very first um, icon in the menu so, and then once you hit that then it'll start going through the process of Iterating through the options to get the outer routing completed, and with this design, it takes very many hours, so I actually won't do it in this session. So we'll just jump to the completed version. So, anyway, let's pretend that it's um, completed, and you'll actually get a notification down here in the status menu that it's actually done. And then you need to export the result. So, file, export, and it's this one, export spectra session file. And then you can just go out of here. So when you load KiCad on the board layout on the board, then you will um, basically, um, it'll still show the rat's nest. And then to be able to get the actual traces imported, then you need to go to um, file, and that'll be import, and then 
Spectra session. And then you select the session file and import it, and then it'll turn all the it should turn all the uh, rat's nests representations into a trace. And um, yeah. And then there's actually one last thing that one should um, do um, before one exits out of here or saves this and exits is to actually check if there's any errors. So you need to click on this one here and show the design rules checker window and then you get this window and then you can uh, run DRC and it will actually show you is there any kind of errors or um, warnings related to your design. And in my case I um, basically concluded that all the warnings were uh, they're not relevant so I just said ignore them. And then the errors um, they are related to um, basically when you have a footprint um, uh, for a component uh, or the boundaries of a component they shouldn't overlap but in in many cases the footprint um, is larger than what the actual component is physically so in certain uh, yeah in certain circumstances the overlapping of the footprint with another over footprint is uh, is not um, a meaningful error so then I could actually just ignore those errors or I don't consider those those as issues or errors so I think that the in my case and I've also yeah as paranoid as I am I've done some manual checking on certain uh, connection points and, and um, VCC and ground and, and I can't um, based on at least a short uh, initial review I can't find any mistakes this is not a not a high speed signaling board this is not a high current board so and it's um, from that perspective I, uh, the, yeah, I don't have a very high, high design requirements on the, how the traces should be drawn so for my purposes it looks pretty okay so anyway, I hope you um, enjoyed this one. I actually personally hope that KiCad will revert to a situation where they actually have some level of the out routing solution embedded in the actual KiCad because lots of other PCB, uh, well, competing PP, PCB pro design programs, either from commercial vendors, um, uh, yeah mostly from commercial vendors they actually do have um, the um, routing capability embedded in their offering um, I know it's not the easiest thing to build and, and I would probably argue that there's quite a lot of um, patented algorithms and copyrighted algorithms and otherwise um, protected intellectual property that goes into these routings systems but uh, I still think it would be nice to have some basics of over, over reading capability to you know, make life easier. Well, anyway, I hope you found this useful and um, yeah, see you in the next one.